this is something that I think some people are confused about. If you right click any parameter in Ableton, you can click show automation and you can automate this. So I'm going to automate this auto filter. Ableton has both automation and modulation. We're going to turn everything we just did into audio tracks. I'm going to redo that auto filter. I'm just going to automate the frequency and I'm going to get like a cool wub kind of effect. So that's automation. I just automated the frequency to get a certain effect. There's also something in Ableton called modulation. You want to highlight the track and click show modulation and it's going to open up this window. This blue line is your modulation. The difference between automation and modulation is when you automate your track, it's going to actually affect the knob. When you edit the modulation, it's going to affect the amount. So it doesn't actually turn the knob. It's going to affect the amount that the knob is turned. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm drawing a line like a ramp. You guys hear what it's doing. I'm going to show you now on the knob. I'm going to delete the automation for a second and we'll undo it. But if you look at the modulation, you see that the blue is filling in. So let's do it a little more extreme. Let's bring it down. Watch the blue. It's not actually turning the knob. It's just showing the percentage amount of the knob that's being turned. So this is all together. So that's the difference between automation and modulation. When you automate something and then you affect the modulation, it's affecting the amount that the knob is being turned while automating. I feel like it's a dope way to slowly change your automations over time. How many of you guys use both automation and modulation?